Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's look I'm going to be recreating this makeup look which I wore in my previous video. Um, people commented on it and just said could I film it so here I am going to film it for you guys. Um, so I've already obviously done one eye and I've already done my eyebrow and set my eye ready. Um, so let's get started. So just before I go in with my eyeshadow, I'm just going to make sure that there's no creases on my eye. And I'm just using my brush from Primark. So I prepped my eye using the P. Louise eyeshadow base. I'm just going to zoom you in. So for my first shade of this look, I'm going to be using my Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm going to take this shade here, which is Real Gut. And I'm just going to place that right into the socket of my eye. And I'm just going to pick that up on a Zoeva 228 brush. When I get to that inner corner, I look down so that I can get right in there. This look looks proper crazy. It's like that technique that looks really terrifying before you've done it. To then blend out that colour, I'm going to take the shade Raw by MAC. And I've just got this single pan here. I'm just going to take this on my BH Cosmetics brush. And I'm going to lightly buff this over the edges of the colour that I've just placed. Just to really blend it out. I'm just going to start in the centre of my eyelid. So once I'm happy with the buffed out edges, I'm then going to go back in with the shade Real Gar and I'm just going to touch up any areas that I have lost pigmentation. It's fine, whenever I do makeup tutorials, I always feel like I talk really formal. And once you're happy with that, you can then go into the next shade. So again, I'm going to be using a colour from my Modern Renaissance and I'm going to take this colour here, which is called Cypress Umber. And I'm going to take this on a really small pencil brush and I'm going to place it to the inner and the outer corner of my eye. The reason I'm taking it on such a small brush is so that it can be quite precise. I don't want the darkness to spread all over my lid, so I'm just going to yeah, use a really small brush. So I'm just placing this to the outer corner and you do want to try and blend really slightly as you go along because, but not too much because you don't want to ruin the shape. And then again you want to place it on the inner corner of your eye as well. And then when you get to the center you do want the colors to join but you need to be really really delicate as you don't want to put a lot of product there so you just want to take it really really carefully just a really light hand and then i'm going to take the brush that i had that um real good shade on and i'm just going to slightly buff over the edges just to try and get a little bit more of a seamless blend So once you've applied your darker shade, you're all ready to cut the crease. I'm going to use the same product as what I used as my eyeshadow base. And I suggest that if you're going to recreate this, that you do the same. Because sometimes I find layering too many different concealers or bases on top of each other can like cause it not to blend properly. So I personally would just use the same. So I'm just going to take the leftover P. Louise base that I've got on my hand and my Primark brush. And I'm just going to coat both sides of that. And then swipe it down the centre of my eyelid and start to cut out my spotlight. So as always, when I'm doing a spotlight or a cut crease, I'll always apply the product, look straight forwards and just like roll my eye slightly. And then you see where the product has transferred. That obviously just shows me where, like how high up I need to cut my crease. Life hack. Then I'm just going to start to bring the product up to me there. So once you look like this, you can then start to blend these edges out because if you don't, then the product will just sit on them and you'll be able to see a line. So I just wipe any excess product off of my brush and I'm just going to pat over the edges. So you should be looking like this. So I'm then going to apply my shade just to set that. And I'm just going to be using like a really, really neutral nude. And this is from my Violet Voss Holy Grail palette. And it's just this shade here called Thanks A Latte. 
And I'm just going to pack this on with a Real Techniques brush. And I'm going to try and not bring the product up too high as I don't want the line to like diffuse. I want it to be quite sharp. So I'm just packing that on and I'm just being really careful when I get up to that line. And now I'm going to start to apply the shadows over the lines and then just blend it all together. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to go in with is the um, shade Rule from MAC. And I'm just going to start to blend this side to side over the line. So once I'm happy with the amount of colour that I've got on from that shade, I'm then going to go into my next darkest one, which was the shade Real Girl, and just do the exact same thing, but not taking this shade in as far, as you don't want to cover up the colour that you just put down. And then finally, I'm going to go in with the shade Cypress Umba, and I'm going to take that again on my pencil brush, and I'm going to just apply this to the outer corners, definitely not taking this in too far. If you do feel like you need to do a little bit of extra blending around the edges, then you can go ahead and do that. I find the spotlight eyes, they are a lot more bolder, um, and the darker shade isn't necessarily as blended as the others. Um, I find that this is just like obviously the style of a spotlight eye. Okay, and once you have done all that, you are done. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyelash. This is the Tatty Lashes in TL4, and I'll be back to start on my face. Okay, right, let's move on to my skin. So first of all, I'm going to clip my hair back because I always have real issues with my hair. Just always popping out unwantedly. So excuse the glue on this eyelash, it is still drying. So we'll just ignore that. Okay, so first of all, I'm just going to spritz my Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe vera, cucumber and green tea all over my face. Oh, I feel like I've... Oh, don't talk when you do that. I feel like I haven't used that in ages. I am then going to apply some of my Becca Opal Shimmering Skin Perfector. This just gives the best glow under makeup. So for my foundation, I am going to use exactly the same products as what I used when I had my makeup done before so that everyone knows exactly what it was and I've actually left the foundation that I used at Sam's but I do have testers so I'm just going to mix these together to get my colour uh, of what I would wear and yeah just go with it so this is the YSL Atisha Clay, Atisha Clay. I don't know, I do really really like this and I'm just going to buff that in with my damp beauty blender clip my hair up and this still bloody falls down actually can't win so for concealer of course I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape this is in the shade light neutral and I'm just bringing that under my eyes I've never actually noticed it but this smells so nice it's got like a cleansy smell to it like I can't even describe it like spa. It smells good anyway. And again, just using a damp beauty blender, I am going to buff that in. This spot, oh my god. Will it, could it, it needs to just leave. I really want to go and sit in my hot tub, but I've just washed my hair and obviously I'm going to have a full face make one. Not that I'd be going underwater, but you know, I haven't been in it yet. I think it'd be so nice that like, you know when it's like freezing cold outside in the winter, but you can have like the hot tub at a temperature, like really, really warm. So it's like a bath and you just go chill in it, but it's cold outside. I feel like that'd be so like relaxing, romantic. I really want to film a um, American candy video, but I don't know where I can get like legit American candy because there's a shop called Mr. Sims, but then I don't know if any of that's like not American. It might have come from like, I don't know, a different country. I don't want to buy it and then be like, oh yeah, this is from America and it'd be like from Sweden or something because that would literally be my luck. 
Okay, so once that's all blended out, we're going to set that using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I need to get a new one of these. So sad. And I'm just going to pick that up on another beauty blender and place it under my eyes and then set my T-zone. Oh, so I did a body pump class the other day. I think it was like Thursday, so it's Saturday now. And I did it on Thursday. And I'd never done a body pump before, so I didn't really know what to expect. And in the gym, like, I can lift like quite heavy weights, like I can squat quite a lot. So I was thinking, she was like, load up a bar. So I was thinking, all right, I'll like see people putting all these weights on. And I was like, okay, like, so I put on like quite a bit of weight. Like I'd never done it before, I didn't know what I was doing. Oh my God, it absolutely killed me. I'm in absolute agony. Like I literally like, from like going like this, like getting to there, then it hurts so much to like straighten my arm. That like, I literally, feel like an absolute idiot because everyone else clearly knew what they were doing because they weren't they didn't even look like they were struggling that much and then there was me I literally had to keep taking breaks I was like oh my god I can't go on and now I'm literally just in like agony I hate that like you feel good on the day you're like yeah feel good been to the gym and then like a couple of days later you're like ow I hurt. I did beat my personal best on the leg press though, so well chuffed with that. So I'm just dusting off any excess of that powder. Okay, so to bronze up my face, I'm just going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. And I'm just going to take this on a big fluffy brush. I can never talk, oh my god. I'm going to take it on a big fluffy brush because I am going to contour. So I'm just going to bronze the face. Okay, and then to contour, I'm going to be using my Revolution and Imagination Contour Palette. Oh my god, that's so difficult to open. And I am going to just mix the shade Warrior and Can't Deal together. And I'm going to take that around my forehead. And just under my jaw, get rid of any double chin that we had. So for my highlighter, nothing new. I'm going to go in with my um, Reezy collaboration with Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to spray some of my, this is just the Primark water from Primark. And I'm just going to swirl my brush and apply it to my cheek. And then I'm also going to take this under my brow bone and my inner corner. So I'm going to apply my blusher and for this I'm going to be using my MAC Gingerly. This is nearly run out so i just got to really swirl it around. So I always just dust my blusher around my head as well just to make it blend. So everything blends. Okay, so it's time to do my under eye. I'm just gonna take that shade Raw on a fluffy brush and apply this under my eye. So when you do this, you can either keep your shadows really, really tight, but I like it really, really blown out. So I just use a fluffy brush. I'll use a smaller one if you wanna keep it a little bit more tighter. So once you have done that, then apply the next darkest shade, which was the shade Real Gut. And I'm just going to, again, use that on a fluffy brush. And then finally, the shade Cypress Ombre. I'm going to take this on my pencil brush and keep it really, really close to my lash line. Okay, so I'm just going to blend those together just using that fluffy brush. Just make sure they are blended. And I am going to wipe away any fallout that I got. Just really, really gently. And I'm going to apply my mascara and I'll be back to do lipstick. Okay, so finally we are just down to lips. Um, I'm going to be using my MAC Strip Down Liner to line my lip. This is my all-time favourite. And I'm then going to apply my MAC lipstick in the shade Myth. This is a really nice peachy nude. 
And then I'm going to blend these together using the liner. Just as it is quite a light colour. And there we go. This is the finished look. So if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a massive thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a upload from me. Head over to my Instagrams because I am going to be doing a makeup giveaway. Just to say thank you for reaching 1,000 subscribers. I don't know when I'm going to be posting it yet, but it's going to be very, very, very soon. I'm just accumulating loads of good goodies for you guys. So, yeah. Thank you so, so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.